In the past, we've talked extensively about Top Don's diagnostic platforms. We talked about the Phoenix Elite for the professional technician. We've talked about the Phoenix Max for the top tier technician, mobile diagnostic tech, or shop owner. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Top Don Artie Diag 900 Bluetooth, which is perfect for the DIYer and is not gonna break the bank. So guys, here is the unit itself. It's very light, compact, and very simplistic for DIYers. Your VCI module that plugs into your OBD2 port is actually located inside the tool. It conveniently stores right here where you're less likely to lose it. Here on the other side, you have your IO port cover for your USB Type-C for charging the tool. And on the top, you've got a power button and that is essentially it. Very simple, easy to figure out. You've got a seven inch screen here that is 1024 by 600. It has a quad core Cortex processor, two gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of ROM. Already got it powered up. We'll go ahead and turn it on and let you see the interface. So at the top, you've got diagnostics and you've got services. You hit diagnostics and it'll take you into your menu for either auto search, history, or typing in what your make of vehicle is to get started on connecting to the vehicle and pulling codes and bi-directional control and everything else that this tool is capable of. Or you can hit the services tab over here and it will give you some quick services that you can get to much faster than going through all of the menu system as we saw before. Now here we've got generic OBD2. We've got updates where you will sporadically get software updates. You'll get them through there. I just updated this tool earlier. Under history, it'll show you a list of vehicles you've scanned and can keep up with reports and customer information if you type that in. You've got some repair info here. Uh, fault code library, pretty neat to have. So let's say you've got a P0300 and you don't know what it is. You can search through and it's a random multiple misfire. It'll give you a definition of a code, not that this scanner won't give you code definitions when you go through and scan a vehicle, but it's nice that there's a little built-in library to look up codes. There's some other stuff in here too. There's a couple of little training videos. There's a coverage list of vehicles and what it does and doesn't support, but you can find that on topdon.us website as well. There's a feedback for reporting any issues you've got, and there's a settings button for setting up your Wi-Fi connection, things like that. Overall, very easy to navigate. Anyone that has a smartphone or a tablet and can operate that, you can operate this diagnostic scan tool. So guys, as I started filming, it started downpouring on me. Hopefully the sound of the rain is not too distracting. We've got the ignition key on, we've got the VCI hooked up to the OBD2 port. And now we're gonna go through and hit our diagnostics button. We're gonna go ahead and hit auto search. Now this scan tool, just like the Phoenix Elite, just like the Phoenix Max, all those higher, uh, price scan tools. This one has the automatic detect for most vehicles. So we'll go through and then it'll do a VIN scan and plug in our 2015 Subaru Outback for us. And there we go. It acquired our VIN number. Going to try to do this in real time without doing any cuts just to show you the speed of it. So we're going to hit area select real quick. We're going to hit North America. We're going to hit yes. All the information looks correct. Again, trying to do this in real time so you can see the actual speed of the unit. A lot of times we cut this stuff when we talk about scan tools, me and other people on YouTube, uh, just because sometimes it can drown on or drag on. So we've got health report, we've got system scan, we've got system selection, immobilizer, advanced functions, and customize. So we'll go through and hit health report. I'll go through and do a full scan of the vehicle. It'll go through all of the different modules on the car and show us if there's any fault codes active. And if there is, we'll get a red mark and we'll be able to go through and go to that system. If we've got the grayed out mark here, that means that the system is not equipped on the vehicle. So we got one little red mark for our air conditioning. Scanning through, scanning through, scanning through and 
So air conditioning, we've got a B14A1 for the sun load sensor circuit. And we've got one for our power seat memory. So we've seen our health check going through and scanning the system. Let's go look at our advanced function feature. So we've got tire pressure monitoring, ID registration. We've got oil maintenance mode. We've got the brake mode for rewinding the electric parking brake in the rear for doing rear brake service. But let's go through and go to system selection. We'll go into transmission. Again, trying to do this in real time without doing any cuts just to see the speed of the tool. So let's go through to actuation test. And as we see here, we've got all of this stuff for the CVT. We can also clear out our memory right here, clear AT learning. We can do the AT learning mode after we've replaced a valve body or replace fluid if it's extremely dirty. So basically factory scan tool level functionality in this little tool. Uh, we can go through and do key coding if you get a new key or a new remote, all kinds of functionality in a scanner this small and this affordable. So it's actually getting really warm with me right now. So let's go through really quickly and go to engine and we'll go through and look at some live data and show us how it shows the PIDs for live data parameters that we need to check out. So let's go to read data stream. And we'll go and check a couple of things once it loads in again, try not to cut. So you can see the speed. Because we are operating off of Bluetooth, there is no cable hooked in to the OBD2. So let's go through and look at really quickly. Actually, I was gonna say let's select all, but let's not. Let's see, airflow, sensor voltage. Let's look at brake switch. temperature sensor and engine speed so we'll hit OK on that and we've got it listed for us we'll go ahead and start the engine so I can turn the air conditioning on hopefully it won't blow too loudly where you can still hear me so we've got our airflow sensor voltage. We've got our engine coolant temperature. We've got our RPM engine speed here. You can combine them into a graph. You can hit the graph here and watch the coolant temperature sensor. So say you've done a cooling service, cooling system service, you've refilled the cooling system and you want to watch your coolant temp till you know that your thermostat has cycled open and closed two times. So you can do that with this scan tool here. You can go through and monitor your engine RPM. We high idled for the first start. We've leveled back out. Let's give a quick snap of the throttle. We see our RPM charted out there. Pretty quick on the reading. Not a whole lot of lag in the data. See if we can combine our engine speed and our coolant temp. So now we can see our coolant temp is in blue. Our engine speed is in yellow or green. And we can watch those two together, getting both a readout here precisely and seeing one on the chart on the graph here. So lots of functionality here, lots of data that you can look at on a Subaru, lots of bi-directional control, lots of functions in something this small, this compact, and again, the price is just right for the DIYer, but it's still capable enough for the technician. So guys, as we just saw, this Top Don RD Diag 900 Bluetooth is a super handy, super capable scan tool. 
a technician could take this and do their job quite easily with it, but it is geared more for the DIYer, for you consumers that are working on your own vehicles at home. It gives you almost all of the functionality of a factory Subaru Select Monitor Scan Tool for a fraction of the price. Now, one accessory I didn't talk about earlier I wanna show you is the included soft-sided case for transporting and protecting your scan tool. But the big thing, the big question on a lot of people's minds, I'm sure, as they've been watching this video is, well, Mr. Subaru, that's all well and nice, but how much does this thing cost? I can't spend $1,000 for a scan tool to work on my own vehicle. So you can get the Top Don RT Diag 900 Bluetooth right now at topdon.us. I'll leave a link in the description of the video for $569. But wait, there is more, not to sound like a hokey infomercial guy, but Top Don has actually given out a promotional code to you viewers for 10% off of anything, as far as I understand it, across their website. So that brings the RT Diag 900 Bluetooth down to $512. For $500, this is a super handy, super well put together package and will do anything and everything you could hope to do or need to do on your Subaru vehicle. Let's say maybe that you're watching the video and you wanna get something a little bit more beefy than the RD Diag 900 Bluetooth. Say you're looking at a Phoenix Max or a Phoenix Elite. Well, the Phoenix Max right now is about $4,000 on the website, $4,500 if you want the oscilloscope. Well, with the Subaru 10, link down here on the description on the screen, Subaru 10 is the promotional code. You take that 10% off and you basically get the four channel lab scope with your Phoenix Max for free. You get it for 50 bucks. You get $450 off the Phoenix Max with Subaru 10 at checkout. So guys, again, if you're looking at any top down products, whether it be a scan tool, the RD Diag 900 Bluetooth, looking at say the TC005 thermal imaging camera or some of their TPMS tools, you can take 10% off from topdon.us. So if you've been on the fence about buying something I've talked about in the past, either the Phoenix Max Elite, the TPMS tool, the thermal camera. Now's the time to act. Subaru 10, topdon.us. Get that savings while you can because I believe they're only gonna give it to us for a limited time. And if they tell me what that limited time frame is, cause I can't recall right now, I'll put it in the description of the video for you guys just so hopefully you aren't watching this six months from now and heartbroken that you can't take 10% off your order. So guys, there you have it. A rundown, complete rundown of the Top Don RD Diag 900 Bluetooth. Be sure to save some money and use Subaru 10 at checkout if you are interested in picking one up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you all in the next one.